Anthropocene is a new concept in environmental policy that denotes a new period in planetary history that is described as an epoch that is defined by the human impact. So it's the end, I mean, it's the first time that an epoch in geological time has been defined by the actions of one species, and this is in this case the human species. There are some people who believe that the Anthropocene is just a modious, a fashionable term that is in no way uh, really changing the way how we believe. Others believe that it denotes a fundamental change in the relationship of humans and the planetary system and is therefore a very important conceptual development. There are some people who believe that the Anthropocene is actually a good period. It's a period where humans are liberated, emancipated from natural influences, where humans are masters of the planet and this is what some people say is a positive development so that humans are no longer victims are no longer affected by natural developments, but can shape natural developments themselves. But on the other hand, there are many others who believe that the Anthropocene is instead a very dangerous period, a period that is marked by a high impact of humans on the planet at a situation where humans don't really understand the planetary systems, where humans are not really able to deal with the tremendous uncertainties but have the responsibility of dealing with the planetary system. So these are the debates about a normative debate, a conceptual debate. Some people also have debates about when the Anthropocene has actually started. My own take is it doesn't really matter that much. This is more an academic question. I think it's much more important for us as political scientists, but also as decision makers, to understand the implications of the Anthropocene and to rethink the way how our political systems function and to rethink the way how we are dealing with our societies and the co-evolution of our societies with the planetary systems. There are some changes in national and global governance that try to cope with the emergence of the Anthropocene. The debate is to what extent these changes, the current changes, are sufficient to really prepare humankind to cope with the fundamental transformation that the Anthropocene is bringing about. And here I am part of the camp that believes that we have a very large Anthropocene governance gap, as I would call it. A gap in governance in our current governance systems at the national level, but also at the global level, so that therefore we need a fundamental transformation of the way how societies are being governed uh, in a variety of ways. So there is a huge amount of research needed to, uh, to investigate how our governance systems can be improved and there's also a huge need of reform for decision makers to deal with the changes that, that we have observed in the last 10, 20, 30 years in the planetary systems. So that's what we call the Anthropocene governance gap in a way that we need new ways of governing the planet, the societies and their relationship with the planet.